Hey everybody, so the following driving directions are going to be for both properties CBNM-0001B as well as C. As these two properties are so close together, we felt uh, would not be necessary to make two videos. The driving directions are pretty much the same for about 99% of the route. So with all that said, I'm going to cover both in this video. First, however, I just want to show you the map here, and I just want to say that the 4,500 acres that equals the Tierra Verde subdivision, that is roughly this area that I'm circling here on the map, has two entrances. One is from the west over here, and one is from the east over here. The western entrance would be the better entrance uh, if not for these two gates that were put up uh, here along the road. There's a uh, ranch out there that somehow controls these gates, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but the point is they have not one, but two gates that bar access. And even if we could get the codes for those gates, if we, even if we can get a key for those gates, uh, they get changed fairly often is my understanding. So there's no guarantee that if you bought a property from us in January with those codes that you'd be able to access it, you know, six months later, eight months later, whatever. So point being, we like to give our buyers uh, driving directions coming from the east. Now, the east turns out to actually be the better route into the subdivision because, number one, it's closer. And number two, of course, is you don't have those, those access limitations. You don't have those same problems. There are no gates along the eastern route. So with all that said, I'm going to go through turn by turn here um, how this route will work. And I'm doing this because there are really no named roads out here. There's a few, but you know there's not a lot of them within the subdivision. So uh, this will make it easier if you just sort of study the, the gallery that we have from this listing page, if you just sort of watch this video. This will help you if you want to buy the property, go out and look at it. Or even if you just want to scout the property and get a sense of, of what it is you may or may not be buying, um, this will ultimately be the best resource to get you out to the land. So. With all that said, I want to direct your attention up here on the map, uh, basically where Highway 53 meets Cibola County Road 42. That's where you want to turn off of uh, to get down there. So if you're coming in from the east, it's going to be a left turn going south. And if you're coming from the west, it's going to be a right turn going south. Now, if we go to satellite view and then back here to the gallery, you'll notice we have this represented as the very first still. So this is the first step, turn off Highway 53 on Cibola County Road 42. In the next still, you're going to see what you would see at that turnoff. So if you've made a turnoff and you're not seeing this, you're in the wrong spot, you're going to want to get back on the 53 and keep looking. But this is what you're going to see immediately once you make that turn. Now, then you're going to travel roughly about six and a half miles south. And of course, this is along a uh, along Cibola County Road 42. Uh, there's not a lot of major landmarks down there. And of course, there's a good chance that you're going to keep driving looking for this, this fork in the road. Uh, and you're going to wonder, have I missed it? Did I pass it? How much further till I get to it? Highly recommend that you just sort of study the tachometer in your car. And you make sure that you're only going about 6.7 miles. That being said, some landmarks, quote unquote landmarks, you're going to see along the way include this, number one. See that? Keep going south. You're going to see this. Keep going south. You're going to see this. Keep going south. And you're going to see this. Keep going south. Now, eventually, after you've gone past those and you go the six, roughly six and a half miles, you're going to come to a fork in the road. And this sort of hilly region is going to, to sort of announce itself from the earth. It, it stands out. It's the only thing in the region that's that high. And that's called Cerro Americano. And basically, the 42 is going to veer off to the left. You want to stay to the right. You want to hug Cerro Americano and stay as close, as it, close to it as you can. So in the next still we have here, this is what that fork in the road looks like. Left is bad. Right is good. Stay to the right, stay close to this, you know, hillish formation over here. That's Cerro Americano. And we have a little punch in on this. You'll notice this is actually one of the few named roads here. So 42 goes off this way. Here's Cerro Americano. And here's a, you know, an actual road sign telling you what this thing is called. Anyway, from there, you're going to travel just a little bit of a distance uh, until you come to another fork in the road. Uh, helpfully, this is what that fork in the road looks like. Uh, don't go to the left, stay to the right. Again, stay to the right, keep hugging Cerro Americano, and you're going to be heading in the correct direction. Now, from there, you're going to drive roughly about a mile until you reach another fork in the road. Uh, at that one, uh, you're going to want to stay to your left. And, uh, you know, with a lot of the subdivision, if you take the wrong road, uh, you know, you may end up in the exact same place. The points that we're illustrating right here are the points where if you take the wrong road, you're going to go way the hell in the wrong direction. So at that fork in the road, uh, just stay to your left. Uh, basically, it looks like this. So you can see how you would think that these two would lead to the same place, but they don't. Uh, stay to the left. And then eventually, you're going to head up toward uh, the entrance to the Tierra Verde subdivision. That entrance is a fence line. It is not a gate. But that fence line looks like this. And this little sign over here that we have a picture of, 
This is about as this is about as formal an entrance as you have right here. Okay, so at that fence line, congratulations, you have finally reached the Tierra Verde subdivision. Now, this is a unit map of that subdivision. Uh, basically, you're entering right around here in Unit Seven. So you've just driven all the way from up here down into this part right here. This is where you are officially within the subdivision. So everything that you just crossed in between was was not part of that area. Anyway. Uh, once you hit this, then basically you're just driving due west. Now, the first step is to drive due west about 0.36 miles. Uh, as noted earlier, there's numerous forks along the way, but all will lead back to the same west-east road, which is why we're not, we don't really get into a lot of specifics with that. Next, uh, once you've gone that far, you're going to come to a three-way fork. So, if you make a left turn, if you head down this way, that's going to be the wrong direction. It's going to take you nowhere near where you want to be. Rather, you're going to want to bang a sharp right. Now, you can either do it up here or you can come down here and you can do it. Um, but we want to point out to you that this is where you're first going to see a power line. So this power line down here is a good indication that, oh, this is where I want to be making that turn at. And you'll notice the power line is also here, uh, sort of follows along this roadway. So the point is, once you see that power line, uh, you're making that sharp right. And then you're going to continue uh, roughly about two tenths of a mile until you come to another fork in the road. So at that fork, you're going to want to stay to your right along the path you've been on. Do not turn left. And just to illustrate what this area looks like, this would be the bad left turn. You want to stay to the more, uh, you know, obviously trafficked right turn, the, the road that gets driven on more often, quote unquote, more often. Now, from there, you're going to go about, you know, 0 0.13, uh, point, well, let's just say a tenth of a mile, make that easy, until you come to another fork in the road. At that fork, you stay left. And this is what that fork looks like. So the right way is going to take you in the wrong direction. The right turn will take you in the wrong direction. The left turn, however, will take you in the correct direction. And that will take you then to uh, this little area right here, this cutout. Uh, continue on this road roughly, you know, 0.14 miles until you come to another fork in the road. And at that one, you can stay to your right. Now, of course, you can also stay to your left and then make a right turn. But either way, you just kind of want to stay to your right. And that is going to put you out right here. Uh, onto Camino de Agua Vida Road. This is one of the main roads within the subdivision. And uh, turn right and drive north on this road. Uh, you'll see street signs indicating that it's Camino de Agua Vida. And to get to the B property, you're basically going to travel along this road roughly six tenths of a mile and then stop. The B property, of course, is a corner lot. It's going to be uh, right there on your left hand side. And with the C property, you're going to want to continue up Camino de Agua Vida uh, roughly. Uh, not as not as far. It's about uh, four tenths of a mile until you come to an unnamed road, and on that unnamed road you make a left, and then from that left you drive about, you know, roughly two, two tenths of a mile, three tenths of a mile, until you come to the subject property, which would be on your right. So uh, those are all the driving directions that we have to get you out of these properties. Hopefully that's helpful, and uh, hopefully that helps you along your way getting out there to scout these properties and perhaps even purchase one. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching.